Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Two million year old DNA has been identified for the first time, opening a game changing new chapter in the history of evolution. Microscopic fragments of environmental DNA were found in Ice Age sediment in northern Greenland. Using cutting edge technology, researchers discovered the fragments are one million years older than the previous record for DNA sampled from a Siberian mammoth bone. The ancient DNA has been used to map a 2 million year old ecosystem which weathered extreme climate change. Researchers hope the results could help to predict the long term environmental toll of today's global warming. The discovery was made by a team of scientists led by Professor S. K. Willerslev and Professor Kurt H. Kjar. Professor Willerslev is a fellow of St. John's College, University of Cambridge, and director of the Lundbeck Foundation Geogenetics Centre at the University of Copenhagen where Professor Kjar, a geology expert, is also based. The results of the 41 usable samples found hidden in clay and quartz are published today in Nature. Professor Willerslev said, a new chapter spanning one million extra years of history has finally been opened and for the first time we can look directly at the DNA of a past ecosystem that far back in time. DNA can degrade quickly but we've shown that under the right circumstances, we can now go B. The sediment was eventually preserved in ice or permafrost and, crucially, not disturbed by humans for two million years. The incomplete samples, a few millionths of a millimeter long, were taken from the Kobenhaven Formation, a sediment deposit almost 100 meters thick tucked in the mouth of a fjord. The climate in Greenland at the time varied between Arctic and temperate and was between 10 to 17 C warmer than Greenland is today. The sediment built up meter by meter in a shallow bay. Previously it was thought the range of the elephant-like animals did not extend as far as Greenland from its known origins of North and Central America. Detective work by 40 researchers from Denmark, the UK, France, Sweden, Norway, the USA and Germany, unlocked the secrets of the fragments of DNA. The process was painstaking. First they needed to establish whether there was DNA hidden in the clay and quartz, and if there was, could they successfully detach the DNA from the sediment to examine it? The answer, eventually, was yes. The researchers compared every single DNA fragment with extensive libraries of DNA collected from present-day animals, plants and microorganisms. Some of the DNA fragments were easy to classify as predecessors to present-day species. Others could only be linked at genus level, and some originated from species impossible to place in the DNA libraries of animals, plants and microorganisms still living in the 21st century. Professor Kjar said, Expeditions are expensive and many of the samples were taken back in 2006 when the team were in Greenland for another project, they have been stored ever since. It wasn't until a new generation of DNA extraction and sequencing equipment was developed that we've been able to locate and identify extremely small and damaged fragments of DNA in the sediment samples. It meant we were finally able to map a 2 million year old ecosystem. Assistant Professor Mikkel W. Peterson, co-first author on the paper and also based at the Lundbeck Foundation Geogenetics Center, said, the Cap Copenhagen ecosystem which has no present-day equivalent, existed at considerably. One of the key factors here is to what degree species will be able to adapt to the change in conditions arising from a significant increase in temperature.
The data suggests that more species can evolve and adapt to wildly varying temperatures than previously thought. But, crucially, these results show they need time to do this. The speed of today's global warming means organisms and species do not have that time so the climate emergency remains a huge threat to biodiversity and the world. Extinction is on the horizon for some species including plants and trees. While reviewing the ancient DNA from the Cap Copenhagen form. A detailed description of how the interaction, between animals, plants and single-cell organisms, within the former ecosystem at Greenland's northernmost point worked biologically will be presented in a future research paper. Professor Kjar said, it is possible that genetic engineering could mimic the strategy developed by plants and trees two million years ago to survive in a climate characterized by rising temperatures and prevent the extinction of some species, plants and trees. This is one of the reasons this scientific advance is so significant because it could reveal how to attempt to counteract the devastating impact of global warming. The findings from the Cap Copenhagen formation in Greenland have opened up a whole new period in DNA detection. Now that we have successfully extracted ancient DNA from clay and quartz, it may be possible that clay may have preserved ancient DNA in warm, humid environments in sites found in Africa. If we can begin to explore ancient DNA in clay grains from Africa, we may be able to gather groundbreaking information about the origin of many different species, perhaps even new knowledge about the first humans and their ancestors. The possibilities are endless. Kurt H. Kjar, Mikkel Winther Discovery of world's oldest DNA breaks record by one million years. Science Daily. Science Daily, 7 December 2022. ift.tt/pd1t9u St. John's College, University of Cambridge 2022, December 7th. Discovery of world's oldest DNA breaks record by 1 million years. Science Daily. Retrieved December 7, 2022 from ift.tt slash pd1t9u St. John's College, University of Cambridge Discovery of world's oldest DNA breaks record by 1 million years. Science Daily. ift.tt/pd1t9u. Access December 7, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.